Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CLEP. It's Monday, it's the 1st of August, a new month. We've got new mods, we've got some updates. I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody who sent me birthday wishes over the weekend. I I went through and liked as many as I could, I thanked as many people as I could, but it was quite overwhelming. But thank you so much for all the love and support. It was very kind of you all. I had a fantastic time with my family. Um, got some cool stuff but anyway yeah thank you very much so updates the map maypole farm by cavalier roy has had an update what i would say to you is go in and check the change log i'm not going to read it all out change log 1.2.0.0 and the change log is immense the amount of stuff that has been changed it does say at the bottom of that note requires a new save so be aware of that if you're playing that map you may need a new save game if you update it uh, the john deere 1590 and tandem by case areas modding the prinoth wheel loader leveler by hr forced and fazoigbao the animals placeables packed by puma 145 that has had the goldcrest valley animal pens added to it and the barn by razak have all had updates today in front of me, we have got the old post-German wood barn by Marcelu22. It's 9.44 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. You'll find it under build mode, under sheds, and it will cost you 20 grand, as long as your ground's level. What we will say about the mods today, as I was placing them out, the detail on today is very, very good on all of them. The weathering, the texturing, yeah, really cracking job. And this one, like I say, you've got this kind of... Not mould, you know, you, get, you kind of get a bit of moss and then you get a bit of green on old sheds and it's got that in spades. I mean, it just looks brilliant, the weather on it. There's no lighting inside, it's an old shed. So 20 grand, there's no lighting, but even inside. That attention to detail just carries on throughout the mod. Very nice indeed. It is drive through if you want it to be. You can open the back up. There you go. Very nice. The old post German wood barn by Marcelu22. Next, we've got this uh, a small horse stable. This is by Bartson V3. It holds five horses, 6.73 megabytes download, 13 slots on console. This will also cost you 20 grand for your five horses. You've got a little area here for storing bales and stuff if you want to. We can open up this door here so you can get in for doing your feed. From that angle or we can open this one here as well so either way your dialog box is just here for your five horses we have inky in there at the moment and if we come round to the side here we have got an opening gate section just there to get to your water trough it's really nice under build mode under animals under animal pens on for uh, horses yeah 20 grand for five horses it's not bad and again really nicely detailed the weathering as you get down to the bottom and you've got that weathering from where the bottom sections get a bit more damp because they're closer to the ground that kind of thing again really nice mod works well the roof looks rusted yeah brilliant so a small horse stable by bartson v3 next we've got the indoor silage shed again cracking detail really nice mod um this by Steve's Mods, 5.24 megabytes download, nine slots on console. This will set you back 120 grand. You'll find it under build mode and silos. But again, looking up the undersides of the panels, you know, maybe a little bit of rust, a little bit of mottling on the construction. But around the pit, looks like concrete, a bit dirty here and there. We have got light switches, light switches, a light switch just there. Nice big silo as well. Plenty of room in this. It is one of those ones, I mean, if you do it kind of more realistically, you do that gradual slope up as you're putting the silage in. I tend to fill up like right to the top. So getting a vehicle in above that to compact, it might be a little bit tricky. But again, that's part and parcel with uh, doing silage clamp work, especially a covered one. Really nice. Yeah. Cracking. 120 grand under build mode and silos. Next, we've got this foil tunnel. It stands as foil tunnel. I suppose we'd refer to it as a polytunnel, like polyurethane sheet over a framework. This is a greenhouse. The foil tunnel by Michael LS, 1.01 megabytes download, eight slots on console. They're only five grand each. So if you want a standard greenhouse, it only takes water. You haven't got to put seed, manure, fertilizer, anything like that into this one. 
Uh, it takes water, 25,000 litres will fill it up. And if we come into our thing there, you'll see you can do tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries. So a standard one. I've got it on tomatoes at the moment. But the cycles per month for this under tomatoes is 1,536 per month. A straight one-to-one -one water to tomato. Lettuce is a two-to-one, 768 cycles per month. And strawberries is a one-to-two. As it usually is in the greenhouses, you get more strawberries when you do the process. Less lettuce and tomatoes is kind of your base on, I guess. Again, with this, 1,536 cycles per month. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, not, I mean, five grand, not very expensive, nice long polytunnel, it's just something a bit different, isn't it, when you're putting stuff down, if you're using the same greenhouses a lot, or, you know, and you want to change it up a little bit, and you just want to put in a couple of greenhouses to run a few productions through, it's not bad at all, this one you find under build mode productions, I haven't shown you all the other ones, but sometimes... I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm trying to lie to you. I don't know why. And the greenhouses. There you go. Five grand on the end. Foil tunnel mod. Another one. Lovely. Absolutely spot on. Moving on from there. We've got these two. Again, weathering. Looks great. Down the bottom. We've got the weathering around the bottom of it. Ladder going up to the top deck here. If you want to go up to there. Um, so these are slurry tanks. We've got a three ring and a four ring. So this is 4.14 megabytes download. Dutch Modding Inc. is the modder for this, or the modding group for this. The smaller one, the three ring, is 540,000 litres and nine slots. The four ring is 730,000 litres and also nine slots. Price-wise, we'll have to go and look, so I didn't write that down, and I should have done. You'll find these under silos two. Scroll across. Where are we? There we go. 70,200. For the smaller, which again, for um, 540,000 litres, that's pretty good. And then 94,900 for the one that's 730,000 litres. Putting in and taking out is done right at the front for both of them. Nice tidy mods, even like the addition of the barriers around the side, so when you're coming to fill up and stuff, you don't honk into it and make a real mess of them. Nice tidy mods, nicely detailed, really cool. That's the slurry storage pack by Dutch Modding Inc. Next, we've got the North American Shed Pack. Ignore those two bags. We're going to get to those momentarily. It's the North American Shed Pack by BC Bueller and Serious Mods. 10.56 megabytes to download. We've got the Quonset and we've got the Pole Shed. The Quonset, we've got a single door one or a double door. I've gone for the double door here. And then the Pole Barn, there are about five or six of these in different colours. So the trim work is different colours. Like I say, ignore those for a moment. We've got a side door. That opens there. If you want to use the side door. And there's one in the back corner as well. Um, the two doors here open and close independently. So when you press open door, it doesn't do both. You have to do each side independently. Like so. And the same driving. So there's no lighting here. But again, really nice detail. A little bit mottled here and there. A little bit of dirt here and there. It makes them feel like they've been used. They're being used, you know. Which is brilliant. And then if we move over to the pole, pole shed, what's pole shed, I said, wasn't it? Same thing, each door opens independently, plenty of room, drive through, again, no lighting in this one. Plenty of room. So, three slots for those, four slots for these, and you'll find them under sheds. So, the Quonset single door is uh, 25 grand. The double door is 27,500. And then the others are 32,500, each one being four slots. And the slot count will come down to one. You've got um, a beige trim, a blue trim, a green trim, a grey trim, and a red trim. Oh, a white one as well. So, yeah, there are a few of those to choose from, depending on what colour you particularly want. Personally, my personal favourite of the two, I do like the Quonset. I do like that design, that look. Again, really nice. That's the North American Shed Pack by BC Bueller and Serious Mods. Moving on, we're going to talk about the bags, and these are very cool. If you want big bags, and you want big bags with large capacity, or if you want really, really big bags, this is what you want. Um, this is the Global Goods Transport Pallet by 82 Studio. 7.02 megabytes to download. We've got a goods bag, which is six slots, and we've got a liquid bag which is also six slots. You can have the standard, I think they're 10,000 litres each, 
or you can have unreal capacity. Now you can use these as temporary silos. You can unload from harvesters into them. You can unload at um, multi-buy points silos. You can do them from your uh, a lot of your buildings or your production chains. You can fill up into those. Now we'll say again. I would suggest you read. Um, although mine mine haven't got a framework. The picture shows a frame around them. Mine didn't unless I was missing a I'll have a look in just a second a, an option so the output from your productions will be auto loaded inside the new pallet bag if you want that if you have a combine to unload or transport crops from your silo do you need a temporary unload point while you get money for a new silo if you go for the unreal capacity at 200,000 litres you can have two or three of these or five of these and you've got a, a fair chunk of storage space if you don't like an unsightly silo when you're farming you just want to have these around you can um, it does say in order to operate the pallet and its functions you must connect a telehandler, skid steer, front loader or wheel loader without an attachment. I'll show you that in a second when you come up to it, it will give you the option to attach and it automatically kind of puts the forks under it, gives you that look. Um, now support for additional pallets with products from the following production mods. Now this has been set up to work with loads of productions, again I'm not going to read these all up, the list, I mean pretty much everything by Zoddlezox, there's tons of stuff in here the pallet and barrel production, paper and cardboard production, there's the donut production in there, um, donuts factory, maple syrup, there's a whole list of all the different mods it will work with. Um, the pallets also support bulk pallets, in-game pallets, the coffee roasted map on um, Alvarada, the, where is it, uh, La Coronella, La Coronea, sorry, a lot of the stuff on La Coronea, it will function with those as well, so the, the abilities, the capacities and stuff of these are pretty impressive what i also like they start off like that so when you buy them they're flat and as you fill them up they fill up which is it sort of expands as it goes and i really like that so what we do let's go to that side when we come up to it give us the option to hook up so this is a goods one the pallets kind of appear on the bottom you've got that bit on the bottom there so if you want to drain into another silo but as you move look at this little bit of a kind of wobble which you also get if you fill up i'm just going to fill up from a silo but like i say it has got an auto load function now what i want to check is uh, you can unload here. Yeah, I haven't got an option. Maybe when it fills up, it will give me the option to put the framework around. It's just saying the picture just shows a frame on it. Um, so the goods one, I've got one over there as well. I was sort of testing them out. Come on to start filling. Um, so, now, interestingly, this is the goods one, but the goods one does also take liquids. So be careful, because as I found out at my cost, what I was going to do for my thumbnail was put over an empty one in front of the two full ones problem I had was when I took one of these empty ones over and put it in front of the liquid one it started to transfer over automatically so the black one you can see in the background started to empty so yeah there you can get a bit of transfer so just be aware of that uh, so we start filling so yeah all the you know, tomato strawberries chocolate everything you can think about you can put in it it's brilliant and depending on what map you're on what mods you're running there's a whole lot of stuff um, I'm gonna try something actually close is it gonna do yeah now, do you notice, this happens a lot with clothes, with auto load. That didn't charge me. And I've got 10,000 litres of clothes in there, which if I now sell, is going to cost, or can sell for a fortune. That doesn't have anything about cover. Yes, I'm not sure about the framework on that, how that works. Anyway, so if I take it instead, but as you move in, you get this kind of, this that little bit of wobble on there. I think that's fantastic. So that, that didn't work because that didn't show you the bag really kind of expanded. What I'll do, I'll start emptying that while that's emptying and we're making an absolute fortune from selling clothes. You see it goes down as you empty it, which is great. We'll go in and have a look. So you'll find them under objects, under big bags, and we'll scroll across. And this is where it gets even better. The prices, they're only a grand. A grand. If you go for Unreal, it doesn't cost you any more. So you can have 10,000 litres or 200,000 litres, still a grand. So if you want to put a load of these together for a, a big silo, that's winner, winner, chicken dinner to me. Liquid transport bag, same thing, a grand. A slightly different design on that, but also standard on real 10,000 or 200,000 litre capacities, which is mind-bogglingly good. So I just wanted to show you the, the loading, really. Let's see if we can put... Bit something like. Can we do it now? Uh, 
Oh no, it's not given the option for because well, it's a main bag, I suppose. But if you fill up to 200,000 litres, I think this one's only set at 10,000. It doesn't make the vehicle dip. You haven't got to have like tons of. Um, feel quite quick to 10,000 litres. Um, you haven't got to have loads of weights on the back of whatever vehicle. As you can see, that's 10,000 litres. I would need a ton of weights. So, yeah, whether you consider it cheaty or not, it, that's entirely up to you. Of course, you're entitled to your opinion. I just think it's brilliant. It's a really clever idea. Put that down next to that one. Disconnect it. But this is where you've got to be careful. Um, if I go and get that, I think the other one over there is empty. I'll show you what I mean. Have something in it. Let's hook up to it. Right, that's got apparently. I think this might be one with 200,000 litre capacity. Right, so this one at the moment has got some grape juice in it. Now, I think I put grape juice in the black one, which is a liquid one, because this takes li takes liquid as well. Watch when I drive over to it. If I was going to put this next to it just to store it, you've got to be careful. If you've got a 10,000 and a 200,000 like that one's done it's just completely emptied that other one that's sitting there and all I was intending to do was just put it next to it so you, you just have got to be a little bit wary I think where you place them when you use them that's all excellent I think they're good the really 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 big bags that's what it should have been called <laughs> the global goods transport pallet I'm joking David <laughs> by 82 Studio. Moving on from there, at the back we've got the MAN TGX 26640 HKL. So this is a, an MAN truck, lorry, hook lift on the back, 10.36 megabytes download, one, one, 14, I was going to say 1.4 slots, no, 10.36 megabytes, 14 slots download, this by Farmer 22. Nicely designed mod, Hook lift on the back, so if you've got hook lift containers, etc., it will work. Hook extends, hook it up, attach it, bring it on. That's how a hook lift works. If you haven't seen me uh, look at them before, it does have a trailer hitch on the back, and I did bring out a trailer. It works fine with pin hitch trailers, but that rear hitch is a pin one. It didn't work with a ball hitch. I tried it on a ball hitch trailer and didn't want to know, but it did work fine on a pin hitch trailer. So if you're wondering if the rear hitch works, it does. You'll find it. And the vehicles under trucks just there 160 grand for the base model uh, we've got standard design grids across the lights horns on the top or grids and horns whichever you'd rather go for beacons we've got standard then we go for a few different options on the top there we've got one two three four five back to standard I went for the lower profile, well, kind of lower profile. Uh, then we've got main colour. Anything on that palette. Design colour does all the cylinders and the, the metal bits on the back at the moment are red. So if we go for yellow, for example, there we go. Uh, rim colour, it's on chrome, but there's a silver. And then again, anything else on that palette, whatever you'd rather go for. I think I went for silver, but yeah. And then licence plate option on there too. Let's hop out. Hop in. <laughs> Beacons, lights, uh, we don't think we've got a door that opens, no doors or windows. Nice movement on the cab there as it's turning and stuff, I like that, that bit of cab suspension. L1 and X extends the hook, so if you have got a hook lift attachment, container, whatever it might be, that will extend out. Nice smooth animation on the extension of the hook. Hook it up, press attach, put it back up on again and away you go. I didn't get a hook lift, I didn't get a back out to show, I, I, you know, sometimes I feel like when I'm doing that I'm kind of teaching granite to suck eggs and I feel like I'm not trying to talk down to people, but it's, yeah, that's what it does. And I say the trailer hitch at the back does work, like so, so if you want to tow a pin hitch trailer behind you, you absolutely can. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, interior. Nice and tidy interior. Nicely placed mirrors, so you can see what you're doing, which of course is what you need. There we go. The MAN TGX 26640HKL by Farmer 22. Very nice indeed. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. I'm just going to double check again. I have to, you know. <laughs> you never know. 
strange things happen when you get partway through a module view and all of a sudden stuff starts appearing and we got this now yes it looks a little bit like it needs a bit of TLC at the moment, but that's part of the mod, and I really like it. This is the Lizard T25, this is by Kashtan18 and Hatchback Modding. So uh, as you go through all the selection options, you've got the options for hood and fenders. And So what you could do if you're doing a storyline, you can do like a restoration on it. You can have it without the headlights. I'll show you in a moment. And I just kind of like that. I thought that's really cool, have that at the back of a shed, and you can kind of, you know come in and gradually do work on it. And as you're doing work, you just change the configurations as you do it. Yeah, it's a nice looking little tractor. And it sounds great too. You'll find it on the small tractors. There we go. 12,500, that's all. It's a 30 horsepower engine. It's not, you know, it's no rocket ship. It's not going to be pulling massive cedars and things like that. But we start on Will Brand, Will Brand Lizard High, or you can go Lizard Low. I think I went low, but you can have the high version or the low version, depending on what ground clearance you want, getting across your fields. Then on each of those, we've got standard or wide track. And that's on both standard or wide, as you can see. On the front, we've got a 40 kilo weight, 80, 120, no front attacher, back to a 40. So if you just want the attacher, or then whatever weights or nothing at all in the front, you absolutely can. Uh, we've got wheel weights, 90 kilo, 132 kilo, 148 kilo, or no. Front fender, you can have metal, no plastic. Back off again. So again, if you were doing a restoration one, you could start off with no, no fenders and all very basic and kind of gradually work your way out. Um, back window, at the back there, you've got the bit you can look through so you can see to your hitch. So you can have that back bit or not. So you can have a metal bit on there so it covers it if you want. Back work lights, no or yes. Again, I'm just thinking of going through that kind of a project and, and gradually adding all these bits on. Mud flaps on the back, you can have short, long or not at all. Covers, and this is on the side there with the battery battery boxes. Uh, no or yes, covers all that up. Attaches on the back, it starts on type 2, but you have type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. And then we've got cabin, no or yes. Sorry, no, yes. Oh, with mirrors type 1, mirrors type 2. So it depends if you further out or further, closer in. Uh, and then we've got hood and front lights. So standard, no dummy grill. Lights type 2, no grill and lights type 2. Then you can have no hood, which is the one I went for. No hood and no lights, so you can just have that bit. So I guess you could have it, you could turn up and it's got no cab, nothing on it. It just looks like that, which let's do that actually. Cabin, let's take that off. You know, kind of like that really. And you can add the lights front, add the lights rear, add the cabin, add the bonnet, add the grill as you kind of go through. I don't know, I just thought it was a really clever idea. Uh, then we've got a manual or an automatic setup on there. Still stays at 30 horsepower. Uh, engine colour you can change to anything on that palette. So you've got old and new ones, so again, you could simulate respraying it or whatever you want to do. Fenders and hood colour, if you've got all of those put on, you can change the fenders and hood colour. The dummy grill, which we saw earlier, you can change the colour of that too. All uh, fairly straightforward, I suppose. Silver, let's go up to where are we? Yeah, there we go. So, the grill, yeah, there's a whole selection you can go through. Uh, wheel weights, if you've got wheel weights on, you can change the color of those. Anything on that palette, and then rim color, I think I went for the silver on the one I've got. Yeah, I did, but anything on that palette, and then license plate option on there too. Yeah, so I just, it's just a, a clever, quirky, I don't know, it's just a nice little thing. Let's turn it off. Let's take it. Lights, if you've got them on. It hasn't got a beacon. But we do have open cover. If I do that, you can have the door off it completely. So it's, it's requiring a new door. Closed cover, you can put the door back on. Or if you go L1, R1, you do left stick side to side and you can open and close the door if you put it on there. All the movement of the linkages and stuff as well. It's almost it's almost better to not have the covers on so you can see it all doing everything. Again it's a small mod, it's a small tractor but the attention to detail. Interior it's lovely. Lovely. And there we go. That's it for the mods for Monday the 1st of August. I hope you found this useful.
and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.